Hello, welcome back to Blender Switch Live today. In this episode, I want to share another node setup uh, geom made using Blender Geometry Nodes. This is actually rather simple. Um, you might can already guess how to do this. Um, yeah, it's basically like a wave ripple. And yeah, I think this is one of the setup that I think is really classic. And I like to just show show it to you how this can be done. So yeah, let's take a look. So you can see the green line. It's actually really simple. Um, I started with just a simple curve line. So there's a basic curve line, and then I resample the curve, and the number of this resample will create and generate uh, how many circle uh, that will be doing this kind of wave motion. Okay, the uh, let's see, we can actually adjust the end and the start of this curve line, so it will affect the final result if we are doing it like this it's similar it's resemble one of the architecture in new york sort of let's zero this out for now we can actually get rid of things like translate for now so we just have these shapes without the animations it's really simple okay let's take a look so curve line resemble and instance on point so using this curve line we are instancing um, the circle and we are adjusting the scale of each circle this circle currently i have uh, i don't have just like a circle this is circle that has been displaced using noise so it looks more interesting Otherwise, I can just use like a normal circle or I could use a star and just instance the stars. If you want to do this, it's up to you. But I'll, what I'll be using is this circle that has been displaced by the noise. Okay, you can have a circle that's a little bit like this just to randomize things. And you can see this uh, noise. I'm using noise texture 4D and the W is sent out to the modifier so I can have different variations if I want to. So yeah, it's basically just a duplicate of circles. And the scale of each circles is being controlled by this map range. Okay, so using the index value so for each instance we're gonna be doing uh, this map range between zero and uh, the domain size the total number of the instance we can control the actual scale of each circle okay so we can we have a bit of control here and then I translate each of the instance using this animation. This animation is actually from the sine wave. Okay, so I'm using the index, uh, I'm using the scene time that goes into this multiplier. And then I just simply offset it using the index value. and pass this value into the sine wave. If we don't like the index here, we can actually remap it. Maybe just use math and just multiply. You can control the wave this way. You might like this a little bit better. And this motion is actually a little bit like a uh, not a squid uh, like a jellyfish right you can have this kind of motion a little bit like jellyfish maybe in the near future we can use the same setup just to have like a jellyfish motion um, yeah 
so that's basically what it is you can control the using the sine wave because the sine will always give you value between minus one and one and then using this remapper we can remap the value out and just use it to translate the instance ups and down okay so that's uh, I think that's pretty much it the rest of them is just realized instances curve to mesh you can have two different flavor you can have extrusion that goes down or you can have a different extrusion like sideways like this maybe you like it this way anyway we are using curve to mesh and so you can actually just use like a another circle plug into this for now I just extrude it down and then use the solidify to control the thickness so now we have this type of it's like a jellyfish I can create duplicates create just adjust the W this is the noise right and now if we render this out we have like a like a mountain or like jellyfish type of motion could be also like a like a hat or something I know there there are of course many ways to set this up but I think this is just such a classic example of node setup using geometry nodes and you should be able to recreate this under 10 minutes or 5 minutes um, from scratch okay so I don't know I think I'm just gonna give you the node setup but try always to try to do this yourself and see what you can come out with uh, right you can use the star shapes while the the render itself if we are using cycles we get this nice result with random color if we are using EV I don't I don't think okay with EV it doesn't work you need to use cycles to get all the random color because as usual the shader I'm using random per island unless if we are separating each one of them and each one of them is becoming separate geometry you might be able to randomize the color that way play around with this whichever you like for example if we choose the green one okay we have like a green jellyfish all right so that's basically what I want to show you it's pretty easy and simple again geometry nodes is really powerful there are a lot, lot of things that you can do simply by using instancing an array and then just modify and randomize the displacement of the curve all right so hopefully you find this useful thanks again for tuning in and i'll see you next time thank you bye